welcome to my humble abode. I don't even know what that is. It sounds fancy, so I decided to use it. So we're gonna come in and I'll show you around my stuff. Now, we may live in Texas, but, but that don't mean we're not fans of Seahawks. This we from Seattle. And by the way, this is my grandpa, U.S. Navy. Thank you for your service. And that is my grandma. You've seen her before. And that is my dad. He was a cute baby. I don't know what happened now to you, but I'm just messing with you. So you did catch me in my school uniform. And, but it's okay. I just didn't have time to change very much. This is our dining table. We don't use this table very much. Only for special occasions, like July 4th, Independence Day, that type of stuff. Um, this is a staircase. Uh, don't mind my M4. It, 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 it's just a toy, I like it. It's fun. This is our living room. This is my piano. It's a nice little piano. It's electric, by the way, so that's nice. If you want to hear a little something on the piano, then smash the like button. It's excellent. I love it. I want to stick with it forever. And here's our living room. This is the sofa that I call Heavenland because, like, uh, you plop down and it feels like the sofa automatically adjusts your body weight. So you just feel paralyzed there. And the TV right there, a very nice TV and console. Um, I mostly use it for Netflix, that's it. I, I love Netflix. My favorite show, personally, like the one I'm trying to finish, is Some Assembly Required. I love that one so far. It it's great. Comment down below what Netflix show you're working on or your favorite Netflix show. Either one works. And also, here's a painting. At first, my grandma didn't like this because she thought it meant death, you know, because schools death skeletons but it's really nice it's got some butterflies got some colors eventually she realized that and she loves it now and um drop a comment down below whether you like the painting or not oh um here is my favorite magazine in the world national geographic i have been reading these for so long ever since i was a little kid but my personal favorite is this one um, you know, it's just really heartbreaking, you know, like seeing the photos. And um, I just love these because they're always so informational. And they tell you everything, what's going on in other countries, how to do things. It's amazing. But the thing is, you know, you don't always have to get your information on internet, TV, Xbox, whatever. You know, you can go ahead, go on a magazine, book, whatever. And you can find information while having a good time. So that's what I love about National Geographic. It's always so interesting. I always plop down with one of these probably once a day. Here is my desk. This is where I do all my homework and um, school related. Oh, speaking of school related stuff, here are my grades, my Spanish grades. I got 95, grande de Um, Sorry for that cheesy grin. And I also got this thing, 91. And my last one, this this was just for fun. I just like doing this. And this one, oh, I don't know. Oh, and um, my friend Peter at my school gave me this. It's fun. I just I just like to throw it up in the air and catch it. Thank you, Peter. Shout out to Neil Thomas, Abby Beckley, and Morgan Eanes, who sit at my lunch table. Probably my closest friends in my school. Here is my kitchen, eating room, whatever. 
This is where I usually sit for most, if not all, of our dinners. You know, it's really nice. I got books here. I, I, I always like to plop down here and read a book. Okay, speaking, speaking of books, actually, I'm currently reading The Son of Neptune, Heroes of Olympus. Comment down below what book you're reading of Rick Riordan or whatever book you read. And this is my bird chart. We have him covered because if we don't, he'll be singing his head off the entire video. Charlie, say hi to YouTube. He's a cute bird. Very good one, too. Pops to sing. Very happy. Oh, so yeah, like I said, here's our table. Would it not be an Asian house, Asian family, if we don't have Asian snacks? This is our kitchen. My dad always wants me to eat a wholesome meal, so here are my wholesome meals. Take a look at that. So healthy, aren't they? Let's see what's in the fridge. Uh, yeah, I apologize for your eyes. Um, my parents are um doing keto diet, and I'm sorry if um if this harmed your eyes in any way. It it, it takes a lot of use to get looking at all this stuff. Um, yeah, Mo moving on. Here's our freezer. Oh, scary for a second. We got ice cream. Yay! Marvel at that people. I uh, got corn dogs. Um, what is that? Unclear chicken. And yeah, a bunch of frozen food out there. And here's our pantry. It's where I keep all of our food. After school, I always take the little snack out of this nookie box. Here's uh, another section. Keep all of our chips there. Keep some like candy here. Want to go see upstairs? Follow me. I think Ben don't mind the random M4 laying over here. Uh, here is my playroom. Gets really hot up here. Gets so hot up here you can probably feel it at your houses too. Um, anyway, I have been practicing at magic. I, I have an obsession with magic. Uh, yeah, this is my playroom. Got some stuffed animals here. The important thing, he lost this eye, this one, and I was wrestling with them. And um, I, I, I threw him down like that. And his poor eye just popped right up. And then, like, you couldn't find it for months until I finally found it. I don't know why, but in the sofa. Anyway, we're, we're super glued it back together. And it doesn't look like the other one. We all have that friend that has a crooked eye. Don't lie. Anyway, here is uh, my rhino. His name is Mr. Sparkles. I named it that piece. His eye kind of sparkles. Um, you know, this thing, I, I did not name it, actually. I don't know why. I don't think this thing needs a... It's a puppet, by the way. How you doing? So my parents were arguing about this, whether they should buy it or not. And of course they're gonna buy me. Anyway, um, so they argued for the longest time. Eventually, Daddy won. Yay! And I was able to bring the snake home. Oh, hey, look, another National Geographic. This is also one of my favorites. Um, I actually got this from my granddad in Seattle. So it's kind of like a... Kind of like a vintage one. Plus, I told you I, 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 I read it everywhere, too. Here is all my board games, cards. Nothing much here. Books. And then my buddy. Ah, this is my desk. Oh, my gosh. It's getting so hot. And this is my desk. I keep some, some of my books here. Keep some of my awesome saucer stuff here. This is my bed. It's pretty comfortable. Don't put too much weight on it, or else one of the boards goes like, boop. Favorite animals that I keep around here. Got Pikachu. Got Mr. Panda. Um, got a, I forgot a, what his name was. I'm sorry. And this is CJ7. Now, CJ7 was my favorite movie. Comment down below if you've seen CJ7. For That's the first movie I ever cried. I, I'm not going to give you any spoilers. But anyway, I really recommend to watch it. It's so good. Heartbreaking. This is my um, Lego McLaren. It, it broke. Well, it didn't broke. It fell apart. So now I'm just trying to fix it. Oh, I hope I get some good luck. Would you like to go outside and see my whip? Do they even call that anymore? Look at that beauty. Fish out of the garage. Yeah, 
funny coincidence, it says Mad Gear and it has two D's just like my name. Probably the biggest coincidence you can, you can ever find. It has really smooth pedaling, nice color, brake is excellent, couldn't be better. So thanks for stopping by and checking out my crib. Please comment down below, subscribe, hit that like button. I would, that would be very appreciated. See you soon.